News Tally's Tyler Butler takes a look at how much we're getting and how it could be spent. Doing business in the 2020s has so far been very unusual, but as bad as things have been, Tulsa County Commission Chair Stan Salee says it could have been worse. We would have a great deal of evictions and homeless people than what we have today. Uh, there would be a lot of suffering. He's describing a world where the county didn't receive $114 million over the last year, money that he says didn't just go to the county, but direct to local businesses and nonprofits. Dead Armadillo Brewing was one of the companies that took advantage of the CARES funding, and they used it not only to pay their employees, but also to expand their tap room from just a little corner of the building to the full length. So not only would it carry them through the pandemic, but also when that's over, their business will be able to grow. Today, they're so busy doing business, they couldn't stop canning to do an interview. A good problem to have. But what about the next round of money? Well, it's going to be even more. The difference is we're not receiving a check like we did before, straight from the Treasury Department. They have allocated around $126 million for Tulsa County. It'll be spread over the next few years, specific to COVID relief, although we don't know yet what the rules to apply will be. I think uh, within probably the next 30 days, we'll be building that application for submittal uh, to the government within 30, 60 days. But Salee believes the focus will shift more to solving problems before they arise, like job training and evictions, rather than putting out immediate fires like we have the past year. We're the conduit of this money. For, it's their money. It's, it's the taxpayer's money. And we're trying to make sure that it's going to the right areas that will really bring our, our region back to where it once was. If you'd like to see what they've spent money on so far, TulsaCountyCares.org has a map showing everyone who has received funding and how much. Tyler Butler, News Channel 8.